remember one time in California, before we ever left California, come back to Arkansas. He gone to church there in L.A. It was called Calvary Temple when Brother Cop was a pastor of it. And, you know, things stand out in your memory more than the other things do. And this is one of the good things that stand out in my memory. There's a congressman there named Upshaw. I don't remember what his first name was, but he's a congressman. been a congressman for several years. He'd had an accident when he was a young man. It seemed like a wagon or something. It was a, a team of wagon and the tongue or something got broke and he got hurt. Anyway, it broke his, I guess it must have broke his back because he couldn't walk. He had to walk with a, a walk or something like that, a wheelchair. He, he wasn't able to walk. And I remember that night or they were at the uh, revival there in L.A. and he, he was just sitting there. I think the, I think the, the, pa- the preacher's name was told the revival that night was Brother Branham. And he pointed to him, the best I remember in the congregation. Now, we were there that night when it happened. They carried him up there to uh, Brother Branham. And he prayed for him. And you'd, you'd have to be there to believe it, but we were there. I believe it. And that congressman threw down his crutches and ran just as fast as anybody going up and down that aisle praising God. He didn't need a crutch. He didn't need a wheelchair. He didn't need anything but the Lord God, and that's all he needed. And the Lord was right there with him. And he got healed right then and there. He threw his crutches away and never used them again. And that his testimony went out everywhere because it was real. All the evidence was there. It wasn't put on. It come out on the news and everywhere else, I guess, about him being healed. And we were sitting there, and we were sitting. We were one aisle from him. He was just on this aisle across this way. We were over here, and we saw him get up. And you talk about having a wonderful feeling. No, God was in that place. That man didn't have any hope when he was growing up after they told him he'd never walk again. He didn't walk again until Jesus touched him. And whenever he ran up and down that aisle, believe you me, it gave a lot of other people hope too because if God can do that for him, he can do anything. God hasn't changed over the years. He's the same God now as he was then. And I remember another time, Donna. This sounds crazy, but it's the absolute truth. I can prove it. When the kids just, I think Jimmy and Jeannie just small, they were just real little. I started having appendicitis attacks. And they would seem like they were coming more often, getting harder every time they come. And I remember the last one I had, it was just, I thought I was just going to have to give up and go to the hospital. I had never told, I never even told my husband about it. And we were at the revival, one, a revival there in L.A. one night, and they asked for people who wanted prayer to come up. So I had a, a spot on my side. I fallen when I was a kid and had a kind of a little growth coming up on my side, and I was getting kind of concerned about it. And I went up to ask for prayer for that growth, and I never told anybody about having appendicitis. Nobody knew about that. He prayed me on that spot on my side, and he says, and you often, I said, you also have appendicitis. Did you know that? Well, of course I knew that, but nobody else did. And I don't know how in the world he knew about it, but he did. And he prayed for me. And I never, ever had another appendicitis attack after that. Never again. Then we moved to Arkansas. I was still having different kinds of problems, no appendicitis, but I mean, I had to have one of these surgery women have to have sometimes. And they ordinarily take out your appendix, I guess, when they do that. When they took out my appendix, the doctors told my husband that my appendix showed that I had 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 appendicitis at one time, but I never had another attack after that. God had healed me of my appendicitis. But then the other news they gave me wasn't such good news. They said I also had cancer. It had spread through my appendix. It had nothing to do with the scar tissue in my appendix from appendicitis. But that's another story. It's another go down memory lane, how good God is. But I'll never forget what that doctor said. As long as there's life, there's hope. Hope is eternal. We have Jesus.